Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Mr. Cajones to come to my office when I'm having a day up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> Pardon my sudden voice change. I wasn't expecting anyone for today. After all, it's my day off. But I guess you're here, so come in. So, is there any reason why you're here today? I told most of my staff to take the day off. Yes, well, you are still contract under Vox. That's still, but he told you that you're going to be working for me for a little bit, remember? Exactly. So, you're still under my jurisdiction. So, what is it that you need from me? Oh, really? You have some good information? Well, let's not be coy now. Spit it out. Give me the juicy details about... Angel, and the rest of them at that hotel. Well, you have to tell me, because I'm the one that has to bring it down to Vox, remember? Exactly. So, spill it. Ah, really? So that human is staying at the hotel? Well, I didn't know that. Hmm. That would be interesting. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just swimming in my own thoughts about the ideas I could have with that little creature. <laughs> It could make me a lot of money. And make the V's in general have a lot of money. Hmm. You did good. Such a good little worker. <laughs> so, you have anything else to tell me? What about Angel? What has he been doing? Oh, he's trying to work on himself more. I see. Well, I'm glad I have someone on the inside to tell me about that Twink's little antics. And I'm so glad that the worker... That is, you, of course, is doing such an amazing job at getting me all sorts of information about that little twink as well. Mm hmm. If you keep bringing me these juicy details about that spider and everyone else about the hotel, I might give you some special. Rewards, if you're up for it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Say, did you sign any type of contract with Vox? Oh, right. <laughs> Silly me. I forgot you signed up to work for his company. So technically, he does have you under contract. But... You could also work under me. I can give you all sorts of benefits as well. I can give you a place to stay. Move out of that little denky apartment that's downtown that I know you live in. And you wouldn't have to live at that disgusting hotel that the Devil's Princessa is running anymore. Well, I say live in, because, well, like I said, you have an apartment. You would get rid of all those things. You wouldn't have to pay a dime. Well, obviously what you would have to pay, because I would be giving you a space to live in, in my own place. So technically, I would be your landlord. But, that's neither here or there, unless you make a contract with me. Oh, what's the matter? You don't want to live with big old Valentino, hmm? <laughs> Trust me. You would have such an amazing time working under me. I've heard no complaints about any of my clients when they do work under me. They get the money that they oh so rightfully own, and they get a place to stay, food in their stomach, water in their bellies. Well, they would have a little bit more than just food in their stomachs, but that's not here to talk about right now. That's in the details of the contract. So, what do you say, little worker? Care to work under me as well? <laughs> Come on now, don't be shy. All you have to do is shake my hand. Come on, won't you shake a poor sinner's hand? <laughs> Perfect. Now that I have you under binding contract, I'll have you work. Let's say maybe a day or two from now, I can get some really nice looking clientels into the building for that day, and I can write up a little script for you to follow, and we can see what type of talent you really have. <laughs> Good. You're so obedient. I like that. But also, I want you to head back to that nasty little hotel that Angel is staying at. I need a little bit more information about what's going on in there with him. Because, well, he's been acting a little bit more disobedient during filming. Just because that little twink has freedom outside of my recording studio does not mean that he is not under contract.
So I want you to talk with him about, well, me, and what he thinks about me. I want to know every little detail that he tells you. And if you come back with the proper details and tell me everything, I'll increase your pay by 15% on your first paycheck. Sound lovely? Perfect! So, go on and get your little butt out of here. I'll be waiting.